Squad Leader was introduced at the Origins Game Convention in 1977, and its popularity inspired three sequel game ads and a revamped series of games known as Advanced Squad Leader in 1985, perhaps the most prolific war game series in history. Only the first edition run of 2500 Squad Leader games had a purple box top. While these boxes show up for sale regularly, the box alone does not indicate a true first edition, and very often later edition components can be found inside the early edition boxes. This video will help the collector authenticate the components of a true first edition Squad Leader game. The box is the most visible distinction of a first edition Squad Leader game. The box top should have a purple sky. Later editions had an orange-yellow sky. The box bottom on the first edition was a plain black. Later editions had distinctive copy added, including the now famous vignette of a fictional German NCO named Kruger leading his men into a Russian village. The first edition rulebook was rushed into print, and a number of obvious and glaring errors crept into the work. These glitches are discussed in detail in interviews in Fire and Movement magazine number 9, and you can find a summary on the TacticalWarGamer.com website. The first edition rulebook lacks an edition number, while the others have the number clearly printed above the squad leader's helmet in the upper left corner. On page 6, the LOS diagrams are printed off-center, ironically making the clarification of how line of sight works less useful. On page 9, the example of the AFV machine gun factors has the label switched. This was corrected in later editions. Pages 22 and 23 are shifted around in later editions to accommodate questions and answers obviously not available in the first edition. Blank spaces are found on pages 22 and 23 instead in the first edition rulebook. One of the major bones of contention was the printing of the random selection chart. It is shown here as was supposed to appear in later editions. And this is how it appeared in the first edition, sliced apart and missing one of its columns. This errata sheet was later issued. Although not physically sold with the game on initial release, some may consider it part of a complete first edition. In the pages of Fire and Movement, developer John Hill noted that his name was spelled three different ways on page 30 of the first edition rulebook. Later editions set it down to just two. On page 35 of the first edition, there's a large blank space labeled Notes. In the fourth edition, this contains more questions and answers. And the final major difference is the advanced sequence of play. The first edition has the removal of desperation morale counters erroneously listed under 1.1. Later editions have this corrected and have it listed separately as 1.9. An immediately noticeable characteristic of first edition map boards are their black mountings, though these are sometimes also seen on maps issued with all four of the original squad leader games, including GI and Villa Victory. Best evidence that your boards actually shipped with the first edition will be a hex grid that is slightly too small. This error was corrected in later editions. Cross of Iron, the first sequel, shipped with unmounted replacement maps for those who still had the original maps with the smaller hexes. As with the random selection chart, while these unmounted sheets were not included in the original box, some collectors may consider them part of a complete first edition squad leader game. As this comparison shows, the difference between the maps was very small, but the hex grid on the replacement unmounted map sheet is slightly larger than the mounted original. The artwork on the first edition of Board 1 is also different from later editions. Building 1F3 has a smooth wall, for instance, while later editions have a noticeable notch cut out of one side. Note also the generally fuzzy detail on the first edition of Board 1, in contrast to the detail of woods and building depictions in the later edition map. A number of line of sight changes were made on Board 1. For instance, the LOS from 1K3 to 1J4 was blocked on the original and cleaned up on the new board. Similar changes were made elsewhere on board 1, such as K7 to L8, where a line of sight was cleaned up and made less ambiguous by shifting buildings within the hexes. There was a minor misprint on one of the scenario cards in the first edition. On the card for scenario 11, two American leaders have had German counter art substituted. 
Note that all comparisons in this video were made between a complete first edition game and a squad leader game purchased in 1985 with a fourth edition rulebook. This does not imply that all components produced during the production run were replaced three times or that the game had four complete separate iterations. Very likely many components did not change from edition to edition. To sum up, a collector in possession of the following items can probably consider themselves to be the owner of a genuine and complete first edition squad leader game. A purple box with matching black bottom, a first edition rule book, four map boards with small hex grid, scenario and quick reference data cards with the incorrect scenario 11, a complete counter set and two white dice, and optionally the errata random selection chart and set of unmounted map sheets for boards 1 to 4. There are no known variations to the dice, quick reference data cards, counters, or other components that would serve to differentiate later editions from each other or from the first edition. The creator of this video would be pleased to consider any additional evidence for inclusion on his website. Please send any additional information on this topic to the contact information listed in the credits.